Poland is set to significantly enhance its military capabilities with the acquisition of 180 additional K2PL tanks by the end of 2024. This new order, following a historic framework agreement with Hyundai Rotom in 2022, is part of Poland's ambitious plan to modernize its armed forces and secure its defense industry. The K2PL tanks will complement those already ordered and gradually replace outdated PT-9120 tanks, which are based on the Soviet-era T-72. This move aligns with Poland's broader defense strategy, which focuses on enhancing its armored fleet's operational effectiveness and fostering local production. The Polish government has committed to acquiring a total of 1,000 K2 Black Panther tanks by 2034, as part of a larger modernization effort. The initial order, finalized in 2022, included 180 K2 GF units, an early version of the K2 tanks, designed to address immediate operational requirements. These tanks, produced in South Korea, have been delivered to Poland and have already proven their capabilities during military exercises such as Dragon 24, where their superior mobility and protection features were highlighted. With a 1,500 horsepower engine, hydropneumatic suspension, and modular composite armor, the K2GF demonstrated its ability to operate effectively in various terrains and challenging environments. However, the most significant aspect of this acquisition is the development of the K2PL, a Polish adapted version of the K2 Black Panther. The K2PL will feature reinforced armor for enhanced protection against modern threats, advanced active protection systems to defend against anti tank missiles, and NATO standardized ammunition compatibility. One of the most crucial upgrades is the integration of a locally developed battlefield management system, BMS, ensuring seamless operation with Poland's existing armored brigades. Poland's modernization strategy is not just about acquiring advanced weaponry. It also involves the creation of a robust domestic production capability. In 2023, Hyundai Rotom and the Polish defense group PGZ, Polska Grupa Zbrojniewa, established an agreement to build local production lines in Poland. The first K2 PL tanks are expected to roll off the production line by 2026, with a total of 820 units planned. This move is not only aimed at bolstering Poland's military capabilities, but also at securing industrial autonomy and providing local jobs within the defense sector. The production of the K2PL tanks in Poland is a significant step toward strengthening the country's defense industry. It is an integral part of Poland's strategy to enhance its self-sufficiency and ensure that its armed forces are equipped with cutting-edge technology that meets its specific needs. The expansion of Poland's tank fleet, with the addition of the K2PL, is just one component of the country's broader defense modernization plan. Poland has been steadily increasing its defense budget, now exceeding 3% of its GDP, to address the growing security challenges posed by Russia and the ongoing war in Ukraine. Alongside its tank modernization program, Poland is also investing in other key military assets, including Abrams M1A2 tanks, F-35 fighter jets, K-9 Thunder howitzers, and advanced air defense systems. The Polish military's personnel numbers have also grown, with approximately 150,000 active-duty soldiers and a 30,000-member territorial defense force. Additionally, Poland is working to modernize its navy and air force, with plans to acquire submarines, frigates, and new air defense systems. These investments are part of Poland's broader goal to become a central pillar of regional security and a key NATO partner. By focusing on both immediate acquisitions and long-term production capabilities, Poland is ensuring that it remains prepared to address evolving threats while fostering the growth of its national defense industry. Poland's strategic investment in the K2PL tank program highlights the nation's determination to modernize its military and strengthen its defense industry. With the development of the K2PL, Poland is not only enhancing its armored forces, but also laying the groundwork for a sustainable and autonomous defense sector. As Poland continues to bolster its military capabilities, it is positioning itself as a resilient and powerful force in the region, capable of addressing both current and future security challenges.